Solve each trigonometric equation over the domain where x is between 0 and 2 pi. In part a, solve 2 secant squared x minus 10x to the power of 4 equals negative 1. Rewrite the equation. Use the identity 1 plus tan squared x equals secant squared x. Replace secant squared x with 1 plus tan squared x. Multiply 2 through the brackets. Collect like terms. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Factor to get tan squared x minus 3 times tan squared x plus 1. Solve tan squared x minus 3 equals 0. Isolate tan squared x. Take the square root of both sides. This gives us tan x equals positive or negative root 3. The solution is x equals pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Now solve tan squared x plus 1 equals 0. Isolate tan squared x. There is no solution. Combining the solutions, we have x equals pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. We can check our answer by graphing y equals 2 secant squared x minus 10x to the power of 4 plus 1. Recall that we obtained this when we brought all of the terms from the original question to one side of the equation. In part b, solve 2 cos x cubed plus 3 cosine x equals 7 cos x squared. Rewrite the equation. Bring all the terms to the left side of the equation. Factor out cosine x. Factor the trinomial to get 2 cos x minus 1 times cos x minus 3. Solve cos x equals 0. The solution is x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now solve 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides of the equation. Divide both sides by 2. The solution is x equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Now solve cos x minus 3 equals 0. This becomes cos x equals 3. There is no solution. Combining the solutions, we have x equals pi over 3, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and 5 pi over 3. We can check our answer by graphing y equals 2 cos x cubed minus 7 cos x squared plus 3 cos x. Recall that we obtained this when we brought all of the terms from the original question to one side of the equation.
In part c, self tan squared x plus 2 secant squared x minus 3 equals 0. Rewrite the equation. Use the identity 1 plus tan squared x equals secant squared x. Replace secant squared x with 1 plus tan squared x. Multiply 2 through the brackets. Collect like terms. Isolate tan squared x. Take the square root of both sides. This gives us tan x equals positive or negative 1 over root 3. Rationalize the denominator. This gives us positive or negative root 3 over 3. The solution is x equals pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. The x-intercepts of the graph match the solutions of the equation. In part d, solve 4 sine squared x plus 2 root 2 sine x plus 2 root 3 sine x plus root 6 equals 0. Rewrite the equation. This resembles the expansion of two binomials. Let's see if we can factor like step 3 of the decomposition method. Factor 2 sine x out of the first two terms. Factor root 3 out of the second two terms. Factor out 2 sine x plus root 2. This gives us 2 sine x plus root 2 times 2 sine x plus root 3. Solve 2 sine x plus root 2 equals 0. Isolate sine x. The solution is x equals 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. Now solve 2 sine x plus root 3 equals 0. Isolate sine x. The solution is x equals 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Combining the solutions, we have x equals 5 pi over 4, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and 7 pi over 4. The x-intercepts of the graph match the solutions of the equation.